What's going on, everyone? Like sports back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be recapping the Toronto Maple Leafs 2022-2023 season. As I would say that this season was not a failure, but it was not a success. It was a, definitely a step in the right direction um, for this Leafs team. I think getting over that first round hump is massive, and I think that this is something to build off of moving forward. I think um, you know you're working towards where you need to and want to get to. I think it's really raw right now for Leafs fans, and going through Twitter is just making my head spin. And you know it's it's very difficult right now, but this season was a huge step in the right direction. You look at a team like Washington; they had to get over that hump, and then it you know, they, they started to really be serious contenders. And I think that this is what the Leafs needed to get over that first round hump. Um, you know, and um, now, now they can go all the way, but you know, let's just talk about tonight. Um, first and foremost, I, I, I really, I, I'm not going to get angry here because it's just, it's just the same thing over and over again. I'm not going to swear. It's the same thing. Um, the officiating is pathetic. I mean, the amount of missed calls there were, not just tonight, but through the series, through this season, through these playoffs, and it's not with just the Leafs. I mean, it's it's everywhere. It is just unbelievable, and it, really, it's in every single sport. It is ridiculous. But this playoff run for the Leafs and for the NHL just really kind of cemented how bad the NHL is. I mean, you look at the bunting suspension. To me, that was pathetic. Um, it was not worth three games and a game misconduct and a five-minute major, but that's just me. Um, I think if it was somebody else without a history, I don't think it's three games and a game misconduct. But how are you going to tell me that it's anything different than that Mark Stahl play with eight seconds left in regulation on Mitch Marner? I don't know how it's any different. That was a clear cut by Mark Stahl, an elbow to the head. He wound up way more than bunting. Buntings looked like more of a hockey play, kind of him getting off balance and kind of trying to shift around. That Stahl plays just a flying elbow directly to Mitch Marner's head. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty. It should have been... A five-minute penalty. It should have been a game misconduct. You know, even not going off what Bunting got, but going off what Bunting got, it definitely should have been, and it should be looked at by the league. But it won't be because you know the the, the lack of consistency and the embarrassing NHL league and player safety that it is just won't. And then, of course, taking away that goal, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it at all. I mean, I, there was no whistle blown. I don't know how you could sit there and tell me that, you know, the whistle blew before the puck went in the net. There was no whistle even after the puck was in the net. There was never a whistle. I, I It blows my mind how this league continues to get calls wrong. And these same officials and refs, can, you know, they continue to get gains and jobs. It just, it's, it's unbelievable to me. It really is, um, you know, it's not fair. The Leafs got absolutely ripped off, not just tonight, but they've been getting ripped off. Um, you know, the play on, on Bunting last game, I mean, that was clearly a four-minute penalty. He had blood on his nose, and, and the ref tells him that there's no blood. I, I, don't, I don't get how – that's like looking at the sky and me telling you it's blue and you telling me it's not blue. The sky's blue. I mean – there was blood on Bunting's face. I, I don't know how there's any... It's just unbelievable. It's been the same thing over and over again. Um, you know, but... You know, overall... I, I'm not going to get into where the Leafs need to go from here. And kind of an overview of the off season Because that is going to be coming very soon. And that's going to be a long video. And, you know, that's going to be discussing a lot of things. And that'll be a broad video before I have a ton of smaller videos within um you know but i think based you know off raw motions and i kind of it 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 doesn't take me too long to let these things sit in i kind of be realistic right away there's everybody right now trade marner trade matthews trade nylander trade tavares trade everybody I, it just doesn't go that way for me and maybe for the first t 10 minutes but you know let's be real here guys we have still one of the best 
teams in the league. We have a top three team in the league. There's no doubt about it. There's no reason to break what we have. You know, we should only be adding. And I think that that's the route that Kyle Dubas will take if he remains on as the GM of the Leafs. And I believe he should. Sheldon Keith, that's another story in itself. You know, but I'll be breaking down both those two guys and whether or not they should be back. But, um, you know, I, I think, um, you know, we really need to relax in terms of the trading guys. And, and Twitter will calm down. It'll take a couple of days, but it will calm down. And, and we'll get into the offseason talk and the offseason content. But, you know, right now, um, you know, for the Leafs, I think beating Tampa was a huge step in the right direction. Joe Wall jumped in here. He stepped in and he was... A brick wall back there. He's a big guy. He's young. He's going to be a good leaf for a long time. I'm really excited about that. But um, you know, there's a lot to build on and build off of for this Leafs team. So it is definitely not a failure. I do think that this, you know, needs to be run back. I really do. I think that this core needs to come back. I think we need to have a little couple reinforcements here and there. Um, you know, but I think for the most part, this team, you know, th- this core is going to be the one that gets Leafs over that hump. And I'm not saying it's going to be next year. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not saying it's going to be right away. But I do think it will at some point. You know, we took people don't realize because of you know we lost in five to the Panthers, yada yada yada. But people don't realize how big of a step we took by getting out of the first round. We got the monkey off our back. Just. You know, for our players to know that they can win a round and win a series, it is huge. So, you know, um, it it is definitely um, and 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 I think Sergey Bobrovsky stole the show for the Panthers. I think it doesn't take a genius to see that he made fifty saves tonight. Leafs had fifty two shots. Uh, you know, we we were flying out there. We had one bad game this series, and it wasn't even bad the whole game. I mean, I think we. You know, we ultimately deserve to win game one. We probably deserve to win game two. Um, you know, we we kind of, we, we definitely deserve to win tonight. Um, you know, and, and it was just really tough. I think overall, though, um, you know, it was a really good season for the Leafs, you know. And um, I think Boston takes a step back next year. I think the Leafs probably win the President's Trophy. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think we need, to, we need to run it back with this core. But at the end of the day... The Leafs fall in five games of the Panthers. The officiating was pathetic. That's you know pretty clear cut. It's cut and dry. Um, you know, but we'll we'll see. We'll get some clarity on Dubis, Keith, um, Shanahan. You know, upper management, all that good stuff. Um, hopefully soon, we'll get a bunch of off season content. I'll have a ton of videos um, you know, on Leafs, Raptors, all that. Uh, Jays. Giants, you know, you guys know how it is here, but, um, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, the Leafs took a big step in the right direction. I'm very proud of what they did this season, and I think it's something to build on. I think the belief is still here. You see it with all the guys, what they said in the pressers after the game. They want to run it back. They love the guys. Morgan Riley almost started crying when he you know, was talking about the core in this, this hockey team. There's a ton of belief in that room. And that's not going to change. Um, you know, this team is not going anywhere, in my opinion. But hey, we don't know. I have a ton of videos. I'll talk about everything. I have a ton of videos, so stay tuned. But guys, that's all I got in this video. You guys, let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on this Leaf season. I think it was a good one. But we're gonna build off of it. You guys, let me know good stuff down in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys on the next video. And as always, go Leafs, go.